welcome back to Pineapple Gaming. Gaming. <laughs> Sounds so unenthused about that. Josh was more so confused. Because this was the first time where I finally realized, hey, shit, maybe I shouldn't write the time as we're starting. Fuck, I forgot to goddamn... I'm never going to remember to get rid of those notifications. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um, it's okay, I just got a trophy for doing nothing. For doing nothing, yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I mean, I, maybe we can keep the trophy, whatever. Anyway, so, so now I look at the time and I'm like, okay, we're going to start 30 to 45 seconds before that time. And so this was the first time where I was like, hey, here's a thumbs up to signal that we're starting. And I also didn't tell Josh that. So I just fucking put up my thumb. And at first, he doesn't say anything, so I look over to make sure he's even looking at me. And then he looks at me funny, like, oh shit. <laughs> Welcome back. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So next time, uh, I'll let you know. With a thumbs up. With a thumbs up that we are starting. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, hindsight's a motherfucker, but good to know. I thought we were gonna fight. Yes, it would be good training for you to fight, Goku. Let's do it. This is such a weird concept. We don't know why we possessed Goku. And neither does Goku. But Goku learns to be okay with it? Well, again, it's... Okay, so first <laughs> off, the whole concept of the game, and this is going to be kind of spoilery, a little bit uh, head spoilery, but, like, the whole concept of the game is to allow characters like Yamcha and Krillin to fully be able to, like, actually combat all of these, like... Uh, other fighters like fucking Beerus and, and Hit and shit like that. So it's like we're fighting the same characters, but it's a different enough story to feel refreshing. Well, okay, so no, so so here's what I'm saying. So there's the story element that's been implemented into the, the game that's called Waves. And what the waves are is basically uh, putting everyone to a uh, no strength sort of element. Like they can't even fly, apparently. Unless they have the use of this uh, this character who we have here, known as the Link character, that allows them to be able to use more of their actual power. So, basically, um, we now have an equal playing field with all of the fighters in the game, so that way none of the fighters seem to be, like, uh, advantageous against one or another based on power level. So Krillin can go and beat the shit out of Beerus without people being like, no way. Okay. Also, being able to uh, throw you into the game and making you be like Goku's bros with all the rest of the, the, the Z bros. Okay. Also, the shadows are weird, I just realized in this game. I actually hadn't noticed. They're, specifically their face shadows or their skin shadows in general when they move they don't flow like the rest of the they just kind of pop like depending on like it hasn't changed like where it takes like, like half the face or maybe a quarter of the face you can tell that like it just pops on I guess is the word I'm trying to say here but I don't know. Looks good it, to me. It's, it, no, it's not a problem. I just now realized it. See I it? I like it. Those are the only things I noticed, though. Uh oh. <laughs> you okay, dude? Aww. Man. Man! Uh. Alright. I still can't believe that Goku is like 60. Well, okay, like right now it's more of like. 
Well, I'm thinking it's think super. Like, no, because this is still like super storyline, but oh. like he's more like his forties. It's just who was in their sixties then that I was like surprised. I could have swore someone was like in their fifties. It was fifties, and it's Kiryu and Yakuza six. <laughs> so something totally different. Yes. Great. I thought it was for Dragon Ball Z. I apologize. No, I think he's in like his forties right now. It's 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 forties or slightly younger because I never remember because I think it was Bulma's fortieth birthday uh, during um, uh, the Battle of the Gods scenario, which was basically where uh, uh, Super started off. And Goku is, if I recall, four years younger than Bulma, so he would be four years younger so technically he would be 36. 36 okay but i i can't i can't speak to say that that's you know fucking exact, exact. or anything all right here we go i'm not gonna dig around with too many of these matches i'm probably just gonna go straight to the objective do it so i want i want to get more fighters like once i get to the the end objective here i get krillin and i actually like playing krillin he's he's pretty fun oh yeah oh yeah so yeah, by the way, uh, if it wasn't already obvious, Josh is playing. Um, I'm terrible at fighting games. I, I'm going to also state that I'm not good at fighting games by, like, any means. Um, you, I, you're better at them than I am. Between okay. the two of us, I am pretty bad at fighting games. Well, then, and then that's and that's fine, but I also just, people will notice that while I'm playing, like, they're going to be like, what, why Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why like, aren't fucking... you perfect? Because you're a human being and you're not fucking perfect. Well, no, I'm just not going to be like any of those, like, professional type we, do we Do we claim to be professional? Fucking fighters. No. Professional fight terrors. Again, out of the two of us, you do a much better job than I do. Like, I just... I'll put it out there right now. Probably fighting games are my weakest gaming point, I guess. More so than puzzle games? It depends on the puzzle. I'm bad at every fighting game, though. <laughs> I've been alright at some puzzle games. I would say puzzles are a close second for sure. What about rhythm games? I love rhythm games. I'm all about rhythm. I'll play a fucking rhythm game, like, now. It's our hero. Yeah, dude. I played Guitar Hero. I played Rock Band. It's DJ Hero. Why do you think I know, um, Do You Want to Be My Girl by Jet? Oh. Rock Band, dude. All the way. I had never heard that song until I played Rock Band. <laughs> Music is also not my strongest <laughs> human quality point. I suck at music. I have the worst and probably smallest music repertoire. Nobody wants to listen to my music in the car because I have, like, a thousand songs of everything I've listened to. Like, not just one genre, just all of my music consists of one thousand songs. You're doing great. See? I'm literally in a fucking tutorial, Gad. Don't, don't start <laughs> jacking me off right now. Like, most of the story is just a fucking, like, <laughs> tutorial mode, so it's just, like, you really, you really don't need to be, to be, to be tugging, tugging me off right now. <laughs> what if I was being sarcastic? Oh, shit. Well, then you would definitely not be tugging me off, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Krillin's eyes infinitely still to this day just make no fucking sense to me. Yeah, dude, it's fine, whatever, he's just got eyes. <laughs> is it sad that like 80% of why I wanted to have us play this in English is to hear Sunny Street Cause just, just, had, just had to hear that Sunny Street Krillin huh I, I love it oh I remember like, like I remember fucking uh Krillin's first female, uh, first voice actress was just, like, a woman, like, holding her nose. Yeah. Yeah, I do. God. Um. Like, all, like, like, and I got, like, the idea was, was funny because Krillin didn't have a nose. And they, like, and that was the <laughs> thing. They talked about the fact that he didn't have a nose. That was the whole 
fucking arc in the fucking martial arts tournament. I don't even care, dude. I'd watch Dragon Ball all over again. It's in, great. In no, a hot minute. Dragon Ball's awesome. And I'm probably going to with our new Hulu subscription because it actually has the original sub. Damn, Hulu! Sponsor us! Anyway. It's got the original sub. Oh, like, fuck, dude. Yeah, so we could actually watch, like, the legitimate, like... <sighs> I also might want to watch Dub again, though. I had such... I just had such a good fucking time. That's that's what I like most about Dragon Ball. Like, for me, it's not about the fighting. It's not about the muscles. Like, it's just... I have a good time. Oh, yeah. I love the characters. It, like, it's not so much about the action as much as it is just growing with these characters. And Bulma, Oolong. Like, everybody. Yoncha, Tien. Everybody's got their pros and cons. They're, they're like, <laughs> despite the uh, unrealness of what happens in this show, these characters have all probably been, like, the most relatable in some way, shape, or form for everybody. I feel, personally. Well, I mean, yeah, it was... I think the thing was was that the show was, was highly accessible for people. You that, know? too. All as, as long as you had, you know, Cartoon Network or something, yep. and, you, you know, it was like... They specifically planned for Toonami to be played, like, right after school for fucking kids and shit. So, yep. like, girls got the, got their, their Sailor Moon. And guys, too. There were a lot of people that... Uh, that a lot of people are really, really like Sailor Moon, but like you had Sailor Moon, you had Tenchi Muyo, which Tenchi Muyo also appealed to girls and guys. I didn't watch them. I didn't watch, like I, again, the way I uh, absorb media is weird because I stick to like one or two or three things. So like I stuck with Dragon Ball Z, and honestly, I'm trying to remember what I stuck to. Case closed. Um, but no. With, and probably when you, like when you watched Case Closed, that was in the morning, though, right? Yeah, Case Closed was, uh, I believe, at one. Oh, jeez. I keep thinking of one, so there might have been a time where I was on at 11, and then another time where I was on at 1, because I feel like I stood up till 1 to watch it at some point, but it might have been 11 before. Oh, I was just saying, because there was also the possibility that you could have watched it in the morning, too, because that, along with, like, Inuyasha... Yeah, it came on again, would yeah, play like, like, five in the like, morning. Like, 5 in the morning, uh -huh. exactly, so... That was a good shit. That's what I was saying, like, I, I, I could understand if you were, like, catching that, too, because yeah, I, I definitely remember all the Inuyasha. I don't know what it was, man, like... They always had the Inuyasha episodes in the morning, but like every time I would turn it on, I swear like I had already watched the the, the episode that was already on there. Or something <laughs> they like they showed like maybe five fucking different episodes, dude. That's what it felt like, yeah, dude. dude. That's what it was. It honestly felt like that. And like <laughs> Inuyasha had like I swear, goddamn, like hundred episodes or something. And shit. then like three of them, yeah, like of the five they showed, the three of them were like the end of the show. Like, the last three episodes of the show. I couldn't fucking tell you what the last three episodes of the fucking show were like anyway. Because I'm assuming you're meeting the end of the show that wasn't the end of the show. Yeah, they ended it, um... Because they ended it, I, I know they ended it with a fucking, like, uh... Super early. Yeah. I don't... I Because then you gotta take into consideration the movies, like, I don't... Ugh, God. Inuyasha was a, a time for me. But anyway, well, you, couldn't, you couldn't count any of the movies. That they were all supposed to be like just their own fucking thing. I don't think at first. I don't remember. It was so long ago. But yeah. So anyway, back to my original statement. Like, I was too young to really follow the story of Dragon Ball Z completely. I was more interested in the characters, and like, sure, the action scenes were cool, but I wasn't paying a lick of attention of like the severity of everything. I liked the flashes and. Kamehameha's and la -di da So, I had to watch it again. It was before I met you, but I watched it again. I think it was around the time where I was in high school and I rewatched Case Closed. Because <laughs> that, that's something I did too. I downloaded all the episodes that they dubbed in English. And uh, they stopped very early, let's say that much. Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball actually stuck around with me for like a really long time. Um, back when I remember, I was like like six or seven. I remember I was at my dad's house or something, 
and I was just like scrolling through all his channels. He like he had like a like a ton of channels, and uh, I like I landed on fucking Telemundo. And I want to say it was like on fucking Telemundo they were fucking uh, showing episodes of Dragon Ball years before I ever found out what the fuck it was. Oh but God. I totally remember seeing like Goku and his like his little blue gi and everything and fucking like, you know, running around with Bulma and shit like that. Like, and I remember like seeing that like... Like, all in Spanish and shit like that. It was, it was fucking... It was awesome. You didn't understand a lick of it? No, no, not at fuck at all, man. But it was it was, it was was awesome. I, 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 I loved it. Yeah, I, can't, I could say I never had an experience like that. But, uh... I mean... I sat and watched every single Japanese episode of Sonic X. So, I mean... That I, added, like, 50 episodes or something to oh it, right? Oh, my God. Because they cut out so much shit from the fucking, like... They uh, cut literally an entire arc. Yeah, 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 because yeah. Because Tails dated a plant girl? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Fun she was, like, and a, she was, like, was like, nah. She was a big deal character. Mm-hmm. Like, even though they, like, cut her oh. cut that hole out of there, like, she was oh. a big deal thing. It was awful. Absolutely atrocious. Yeah. But, like, they can't show fucking Tails getting some fucking Red Rocket or anything, like, on TV. <laughs> he couldn't do And it's not even like he did get Red Rocket. <laughs> I know, like, I It was know. the sweetest, most childlike romance probably I've ever seen. Other than fucking... It was too sweet. My, uh, other than my love story. That was probably the most vanilla love story I've ever seen. You're too sweet. Skita! Skita. <laughs> Sorry, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, My Love Story, there's a Japanese name for it that I don't know, but it's called My Love Story. Uh, or, or, uh, or, or, or a Monogatari. There, there you go. Good job, you know your Japan, Japanese. Japanese. We're going to go to a honeymoon there sometime. You'll, you, you, you'll get us around. The next ten years. Yeah, maybe. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, My Love Story is the most vanilla, like... To the point where I was watching this show and expecting the characters to die because that's what anime does nowadays. It's too fucking sad. Nobody can have anything. But no. This is just the love story of two really cute kids. And that's where I'm, that's where I'm gonna leave it as. That's all, we, all you need to know. Go watch it. Like, I can promise you nothing bad. <laughs> things bad, like, things that are bad happen to them. But it's, like... The most minute shit. The most minute shit, and it's all in their head. You know, like... It's more of anxiety. Anxiety, paranoia, like... I love this person so much that, like, if something happens to them, I'm gonna die. But they're also (laughs) one of those that, like... Are actually a real situation. Well, they, well, but it ends work. up good. It just it's all good. You could just have a good little cute love story. That's all it is. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. I don't well, wanna get spoilery about it. Yeah. Um It's all a bunch of those like every character in that show are just like way better people than they need to be. Except for like I think with the exception of like one or like two, two characters. Uh that are like but like outside of that, like fucking Every character in that show is so fucking, like, selfless and, like, perfect characters in almost every way. Yeah. And I don't, want, I don't want to go as far as saying to a, a, a Mary Sue level. Like, I'm sure they definitely could feel that way, but I don't know. It just, it felt really sweet. It, it didn't, cute. it didn't feel too, too forced. It was kawaii. <laughs> uh, but with uh, Dragon Ball, though, man, like, fucking, oh my god, like... Uh, this this shit just made like this. This was the perfect time of my life to watch this show. Cause I feel like if I watched it when I was older, yes, I would probably enjoy it. But like, it wouldn't be. A, that's the that's the tough part about growing up is that things aren't as um, mesmerizing. Like yes, things are amazing and things are awesome, but they're not like. To the point where your little child brain is just fucking exploded because the, the, the magic. You, you know that the magic, or rather you don't know that the magic isn't real yet. And I feel that's just the difference between childhood and, and adulthood. Um, so next time on Pineapple Gamer, we're going to get more weird and philosophical. 
Sorry about that, guys. I suppose so.